Sarah, so great to see you. How are you? Oh, hi. Thank you. I love, I was just saying I love Toronto, so I'm very happy to talk to you guys in Toronto. Well, we love you, Hannah, I got to tell you. And I have to say, I had a smile on my face from beginning to end watching this gorgeous holiday special. Thank you. You are in your element. My yeah. friend, is there anything you cannot do? Oh, plenty. I mean, cook a dinner for more than four people. <laughs> okay. Oh, so when you invite me over and there's three, yeah. I'll, I'll be a very Then you're fine. Member, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you're okay. fine. Okay. Yeah. All good. But seriously, I mean, the music, the dancing, the, the just being on that stage and being in the London Coliseum, you know, I almost broke into tears when you introduced your parents there. What was that? How did you keep your emotions in check? I nearly didn't. I nearly didn't. There's a moment when you just see me catch myself because the wheels could have really come off at that point talking about my mum, um, mm. talking about my daughter. It was it was a bit of a moment of, and I actually kept saying to myself, we can cut, we can cut if, you know, but I managed to keep a lid on it. And, um, and I'm so pleased how it's turned out. I really am. Yeah, it's beautiful. And they must have been extremely proud, your whole family, I got to say. And then, of course, for us Ted Lasso fans, what an extended treat. Because I got to say, my favorite episode of the whole series was that Christmas episode that you guys did. So now we're getting a lot more. And can I just say two words here? Phil Donster. I mean, I mean, isn't he just a total dreamboat? I mean, physically, vocally, just gorgeous. And it's so lovely because he's very unassuming and, yeah. you know, he plays up and is silly with it, but but I could sense that he was nervous and wanting to do well. And that's such a charming thing about him. And I love that we managed to get him and two of my oldest, dearest friends in the world, Scott Baker and Patrick Davey, and our voices. It's very rare for you to have a quartet. Yes. And yes. we, you know, we barely got to sing together, but all our voices blend so beautifully. And I'm really, I'm thrilled that that point in the show is clearly about friendship. It's not about who's famous, who's not famous. It's just four friends hanging out. It's like it could be round your round your piano in a house. A hundred percent. But I, what I, it's a good thing that you said that, Hannah, because that's what the feeling I got watching this. I mean, it's so clear to me. If anybody thinks it's such BS, if people do a TV series together, and yeah, we're friends. No, no, you guys are clearly friends. Hundred percent. I mean, that comes across. Can you talk a little bit about that? Because it doesn't happen that often. No, I'd say it's hugely rare. We are all so far in each other's pockets and that's it for life, for sure. And I think we're all realizing now as we move off onto other things and we've spent time apart, we are like a drug to each other, all of us. Yeah. It's very weird. When we see each other, it's palpable how hard we squeeze each other. We just love each other's bones. And the fact that so many of them were just like, I'm totally down with that. I'm totally down with being in boiling hot sunshine in London on the 27th of May, making out it's Christmas. Let's do it. Well, you fooled me. You fooled me. You wouldn't have never known that. Um, I was sweating you know, like a lunatic, my friend. Oh God, you it's look like... stunning. I don't know. I, you're you're a ma you're a magician because you look absolutely stunning in all of those costumes. You're just everything. You're so composed. And I have to tell you, I was a little jealous getting you getting in a hot tub with Brett Goldstein, BG yeah. as you call him. Yeah, it was awful. <laughs> it was awful. It was really, really traumatic. Well, him <laughs> and and singing with Leslie Odom Jr. and trying to not like what? look like I'd won a competition. Honestly, I don't know. You packed so much into this beautiful, beautiful special. Um, you, you know, and then then we just saw a viral clip of you with Jason Sudeikis, uh, you know, attending his charity um, and doing that gorgeous duet with him. I mean, you two should do a Broadway musical together. Have you thought about it? Oh, my God. I think we drive each other mental. <laughs> But we loved that. And it was a, it was almost like a bit of an accident that we ended up singing that because the one, the song we were meant to, everyone thinks it was like a planned thing. The song we were meant to sing was like too, too low for me, too high for him. And I was like, the day before, two days before, I said to the musical supervisor guy, I was like, well, he knows shallow. I know, shallow. should we just do shallow? And that's how that came about. 
Well, I'm seeing Bradley Cooper this weekend, so I'm going to put in a good word for oh you. Oh, my okay? God. Tell him Tell him Anna. I said hi. <laughs> uh, no, Anna, we just love you. This special, honestly, for this for this nice Jewish girl, I couldn't have loved it more. Honest oh, to God, it thank you so much, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. And please come visit us in Toronto. Absolutely. absolutely. Give Toronto absolutely. my love. I'll be there in a shop. Okay. I will. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas Anna. to you. Thank you.